Welcome back to the channel and this is going to be part one of a free part tutorial series I'm making on making this sort of 90s style anime um, robot here and we're going to be making these um, sort of tune shaders in Blender and we're also going to be working with the line art shader. So this is the robot here that you can see and as you can see here we're going to rig it as well with a really simple beginner friendly rig and um, you can see here like the arms can all be controlled individually. And in real time here, you can see it's rendering the line art shader. So I'll quickly show you here. You can see the limbs are all working. So yeah, this is gonna be part one. I will be uploading this um, blend file onto my Patreon as well, the finished blend file. But if you don't wanna do that, you can just watch um, these free parts and I'll show you step-by-step step how we're gonna make this. So we're gonna start completely from scratch in Blender 4.2, no extra add-ons, anything. This is um, all you need is Blender. So let's dive in and I hope you guys enjoy. With a new scene open up in Blender, we're gonna start by selecting the default cube and we're gonna tab into edit mode. And inside of edit mode, we're gonna go S and Z and with all of this active, we're just gonna scale it down about this much and then click. And then we're gonna go Control B with everything active. We're gonna create a bevel. And we don't want any extra loops rolled in. We just want it as it is like this, just one solid bevel. And then we're gonna click and then we're gonna come over here to our edge select option. And then in our front view, we're just gonna come over this edge and go control R. You're gonna see the yellow line appear. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll that. So we get two edge loops and then we're gonna double click. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go control B to create a bevel on both of these edges while they're active and then left click. So bevel about this big should be fine. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and right click. And then let's go Alt S and scale out along those normals, like so. And then we're gonna to go to our face select option. And let's come over into the front view again, the front of the graphic, and let's just select this edge, or this face over here, and this face on top of here. And let's just press E to extrude and extrude that out. And then we're gonna come over here on the side, we're gonna go Control R, roll the middle mouse button just to add in two loops, double click. And with these ones, we're gonna go S, X, and just slightly scale it on the X like that. And then let's come over here in the middle, control R, add in a single loop, double click. And then let's just go to our face select option and just select this face over here and then go E to extrude. And then I to inset the faces and then E to extrude out again. And then we're just gonna go to our edge select option, deselect everything and go shift alt and left click on this edge and this edge to loop select them both. And then we're gonna go control B to bevel. Let's go with something like this. And then let's go to our face select option and then just select this face and holding and shift select the face, the same face on the other side and go E to extrude and extrude up, click and then S, X and scale it out along the X a little bit. And now we're gonna go shift A. We're gonna add in a cylinder. We're gonna go S to scale that cylinder down a bit and then G, Z and move it up like so. And then let's go to face select. Make sure to select the top face and go G, Z and move it down. And then we're gonna press I to inset it and we're gonna click. Then we're gonna go E to extrude up. Then we're gonna go E to extrude and S, and then click, and then E to extrude up again. And we're gonna to come to about here, and then we're gonna go Control B to create a bevel, and we're gonna click. And then let's select the top face, and let's go I to inset, E to extrude up, and then E to extrude S to scale, click, and then E to extrude up, like so. And then let's go Control B to create a bevel, and roll the middle mouse button to add in some segments, and then double click. And if you want to, you can come in here, control R, add in these little edge loops and just go control B, create these and then go E to extrude, right click and go Alt S. And you can add on in all these extra details like so. So you can come in here, add as many of these little embellishments by adding in loops and um, beveling them and then extruding them out along the normals. These are all sorts of things you can try out to add your own kind of details and embellishments. But I'm gonna go with something like this for now. Okay, in object mode, going back to object mode, we're gonna right click and go shade auto smooth. And you can see this is what we have so far. So we have this sort of like robotic body kind of starting here. Now, um, this is really kind of like a very fun thing because if we go back in edit mode, this can be whatever you want it to be. Honestly, um, you could always add in as many little primitive objects and model them to kind of create this body. I think just using a square like this and extruding certain faces and then just insetting a lot of the different parts of a cylinder is already a good base. But another thing you can do is you can go Shift A 
and you can add in another cylinder and in the right view you can go R90 in edit mode then go G, Z and move it up and then scale it down you can kind of create some sort of blaster kind of like this kind of move it up like this and then with your face select you can extrude different faces and scale them create bevels so something like this and then we'll grab this front face and we'll go E to extrude and then let's go I to inset, E to extrude back I to inset, E to extrude out. Let's go I to inset, E to extrude in, I to inset, and then extrude out to about here. There we go, and I'll inset it again, and then go E to extrude out, and then maybe E to extrude as to scale, and then E to extrude. And you kind of get the idea here. We're just making like a, kind of just like a very primitive looking kind of blaster. Something like that looks really good. And then before we get onto the legs, I think one more detail is we'll go Shift A, just add in a cube again in edit mode, S, X, and flatten it, and then go G, Z, and bring it up. And I think in the right view, we'll just move this, we'll go S, Y, and flatten it a bit, and then go G, Y to move it forward. And I think this sort of detail here, if you grab the face up here at the top, just move it down. I think this detail is uh, really handy. So I might move this down to here. I'm going to go to the edge select option, select this edge over here and go Control B to create a bevel. Roll the middle mouse button a few times and then click. And um, let's see what else we could do. Um, probably go to our edge select, go in here in the middle, Control R, double click, Control B to create a bevel, roll the middle mouse button to get something like this. And then let's go E to extrude, right click and go Alt S and scale it in along the normals. And I might just go Control L with that active and just go S to scale it down just a bit and move it back. Then I have to go too crazy. But you kind of get the idea here with that. So we've created a robot body. I'm going to tab back out. I'm just going to right click and go Shade Auto Smooth again. And for now, what we'll do is we'll go to our front view. We'll go G, Z and move this up to about here. Maybe even just a little bit higher. And we're going to model here in the right side. We're going to model our legs. We're going to go Shift A. We're going to go to our mesh options. And we're in object mode now. We're going to go Shift A. We're going to add in a circle. We're going to go G and move it over to the side. We're going to go RX90 and hit Enter. And then in edit mode, we'll go S to scale it down. We'll go to our vertex select option. Press F to fill these faces. And then just select half of it and go E to extrude and X. Bring it out to here and then go S, X, 0 to flatten it. And we should have something that looks like this. And we're now going to press A to select everything. We're going to go E to extrude and extrude it out like so. And then in our top view, we'll just kind of select the whole thing. Go Shift D to duplicate and Y and move it up a little bit. And then press A to select everything. Go G, Y and kind of move it till it's sitting in the middle here. And you can see the origin point sits there. So we kind of created just something like this. Then back in object mode, we'll go into our front view and we'll go G and we'll just move this till it's embedded kind of in here like so. There we go. And now we have kind of like the basis for our robot legs. We're going to go Shift A, add in a UV sphere. We're going to go G and bring it over here, S to scale it. And the reason we're using a UV sphere, I think it's a really kind of good object because it kind of can swivel a lot more. So we're going to go with something like this. There we go. And then what we want to do is we're going to go Shift A and add in a cube and go G to move it over. S to scale it down. We're going to bring it to about here. Tab into edit mode. We're going to go S, Y and flatten it a little bit on the Y. And then in our front view, we're going to just flatten it like so. Move it up and then go Shift D to duplicate it. Bring it down. Click. And then go S, Z and scale it up on the Z a little bit. So we have something that looks like this. Now we're going to grab these two faces at the front. We're going to go E to extrude and extrude them out about here. And we'll grab this bottom verts and just move them up. And what we should have is something that looks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to a face select option. We're going to select this face over here and go Shift D to duplicate. S to scale it up and then go G, X and move it in. And let's go E to extrude and extrude it like so. And what we're creating here is just a little detail. So we can select a face at the top, extrude that up like so, Control R over here, double click, and then let's just select this face over here, go E to extrude it up, S to kind of scale it, and now we just add these little details. So this is actually really fun. You could at this point now, 
grab this whole thing and go shift D and duplicate that and then rotate it and add it somewhere in here and then go to your vertex select option and kind of just add in these little sort of details like this just little mechanical features on the legs um, you know just adding more kind of volume to the legs as well so I might just move this up in here just kind of make it look like a component that sits on the leg maybe something like this and I'll extrude it you can do this part however you want I think but yeah just little details like that look really cool and then what we're going to do, we're going to grab this UV sphere over here. And in our front view, we're going to go Shift D. We're going to move it over here and place it right over here. And then we're going to grab this thing here. We're going to go Shift D, move it over here. Place it kind of over the sphere. And then go R to rotate it. And let's place it kind of like this. And what we might actually do at this point is just select this bit here. Holding and Shift select the sphere and then go Control J to join it. And then in your front view, because this origin point sits right here, in the front view, you can go R to rotate it and kind of rotate it down a little bit, like so. And what we could do is just move our robot, in fact, move all of this up just a little bit. And let's grab this leg and go R to rotate it a bit more. And then let's grab this guy here and bring it, both the sphere and this guy over here and bring it and put it on the end here. And then this thing here, this joint is going to become the part of our next part of our leg, the next segment. So what we can do to be efficient here is just select this section again, Shift D to duplicate it, bring it over here, and then go R to rotate it, G to move it in, and this can be the section that sits in here, like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to tab into edit mode and just select a vertex on the sphere, go Control L, and then just press Delete and delete the vertices. So we want this to kind of become part of this thing over here. So what we can do is tab back out. We can take this guy and holding and shift select this guy over here and go control J to join. There we go. And now if we tab into edit mode, what we can do is we can go to this face select option, select this face over here and then go S, Y and scale it along the Y like so. And then go E to extrude that face. And then we can grab this guy over here and that should be fine. We don't have to do anything to that, but just kind of make it look like it's attached. And if you wanted to, you could always come over here and select any of these faces and kind of extrude them as an extra little kind of detail, scale them maybe a little bit, something like that, looking really good. And any of these little bits on here, you can kind of adjust them around a little bit to make it look a little bit more randomized if you wanted to. Maybe you rotate this bit here, just making them look like little kind of mechanical attachments, if that makes sense. Pretty cool, nice. And then lastly, we're gonna to get to this bit over here. To, so let's go back to the front. Let's just grab this whole leg and just rotate it up a little bit more, like that, around about here. And then let's grab this whole bit here and go Shift D to duplicate and move it up to here and then go R to rotate it down. And this bit is going to become the last section of the leg. Now, what we need to do is just go Shift A, add in a UV sphere. And in our front view, we're just going to go G and move it over here and go S to scale. And we're going to place this one right about here at the end. It's in there. And holding in Shift, we're going to select this guy over here with this active and go Control J. And now this is all one part. Okay. So we can grab this guy now, and this is going to become our leg and end of our leg. So we're going to tab into edit mode and let's come over here and go to a vertex select option and let's grab these guys here. We're going to go G and move them up like so and we're just going to select this bit and delete it and I'll get rid of this as well and what we're going to do is we're going to select this end face and go E to extrude it down, S to scale and just place this kind of on the ground like so. So we have kind of like the sharp point coming there and then over here, we're going to come in Control R, double click to add in an edge. And what we can do is go to our face select option and then select these two faces here. And in our front view, we're going to go E to extrude and extrude it out to about here. And then let's go to our vertex select option and just kind of bring this down to here like that. And then let's go to our face select. And let's come in here, Control R to add in an edge here, double click. Go to our 
face select and this is select this face and this face and in our front view we're just gonna go E to extrude and rotate and let's move this into about here and this is kind of like just the end leg details so you can kind of grab these and adjust them to make this kind of cool effect like this and you can really customize the shape of your robot just by how you shape that bit on the end so now we have all of these leg components we have this guy here this one here and this one here pretty cool okay and what we're going to do all of these things here to make up the leg okay we only have to make them once because we'll duplicate them around later but let's grab these guys over here and right click and go shade auto smooth and what we're going to do in the next part is we'll actually be adding the placeholder materials to this before we duplicate it we'll be adding the placeholder materials to the robot body and then what we'll do is we'll actually rig up the robot which is really simple we'll be rigging the legs as well um, before we duplicate them so we can duplicate the rig the rigged leg and that saves us time so we don't have to do it to each individual leg going around the robot so that'll be part two and as always this finished blend file will be on my patreon